Hello, you little cuties. It's time for another mailbag video. Okay, so if you want to send us a package, then the address to send it to is... Yeah. Montgomery and Lamont are going to hold it up for you. I like how you do introduce them all by name, so, you know... Because they, they all have names. They, they do all have names. But not just the ones that they're assigned, but I give them personal names. You do, you mm. do. Uh, do you want to open... Uh, do you want to hand me one of those packages, yes. then? Yes, uh, yes I do. Yes. We have a sequel. We do have a sequel. From uh, just one more thing. <laughs> yeah, this is another thing from Grotskull. Um, who said, uh, to Wib, given what you said on the last mailbox vid, I thought you might enjoy a little Rebel Grot treat. Okay. So... It might get demonetized. Is this... Because it's going to be too sexy. It's going to be a, a high quality art print of some short stack goblins. You pulled that out of your brain too easily. <laughs> That's worrying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's, uh, let me just make sure there's uh, nothing else in here. Okay. It is a uh, Codex Rebel Grotz. Rebel Grotz for Astra Militarum. So it's, uh, oh, okay, so it's it's where you put all of the bits and pieces that you uh, you have if you're doing a Rebel Grotz um, thing using, uh, in this case, using Astra Militarum. Uh, which, funnily enough, is a thing that I am uh, going to be doing at some point, hopefully this year. Okay, we've got a lot of uh, very, uh, very cool, like, custom artwork on the inside as well. I'm, I'm very partial to this fine uh, grot gentleman, <laughs> who's just screaming. Yeah, which no. is a mood. Let's be honest. Ah, that's, that's really cool. Thank you, Grot School. Get ready for the next package. Package. Yeah, I'm a bit curious about this one. <laughs> I'm opening this one. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Custom paint pots! That's so cute! Or paint pot holders. Paint pot holders, that's what yeah, I meant. Like yeah, like 3D printed and they've got it's Snipe and Whip and our logo on them. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's amazing. There's, there's um, a couple more. Oh my, oh my goodness. In a wide variety of colours. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Oh, these things feel bad. I don't know what these are, oh, but they the, feel bad. Uh, these are little, I think these are little sticky pads to put on the bottom so they uh, will uh, will uh, stay in, stay in oh. one place on the thing. Um, and we got a little, we got a little, uh, I think it's basically it's like a 3D printed signature. You know, every time I get a 3D printed thing, I want to take a bite out of it because it looks layered like hard candy. And I'm like... <laughs> I, I get that. Um, Dear Snipe and Whip, thank you for all the Codex compliant videos. It's fun seeing how Warmer, Warhammer has changed from when it started to now, even if I no longer play 40k. When I first started playing 40k, I bought a load of old models from someone at school and had a few odd looking models that didn't match the other Space Marines I had. It was only after watching your video that I found out it was from the board game Space Crusade. Oh, cool. Um, I no longer have that model as it was passed down to the next generation of Warhammer modelers who will be equally confused about what this space marine is. Yeah, <laughs> it is tradition. In the envelope, you should have got four paint pot holders and a maker's coin. So that's a maker's coin. That's a maker's coin. Uh, I hope you don't uh, mind me borrowing your logo for the design. No, not at all. Thank you. No, they're beautiful. Uh, um, the, the red one will not make your paints dry faster, the purple one will not hide your mistakes, the yellow one is not proven to make you drop more parts, and if you notice any side effects of the blue one, seek medical advice. That's a good, that's some good advice right there. <laughs> I assume that you use Citadel paints, but if not, let me know and I'll make you holders for the brand you use. Oh, Bless you sweetheart. You. Um, we do, we do mostly use Citadel, yeah. in all honesty, so. Um, the round thing is a maker coin, it's sort of a business card and hand out by 3D printers at shows. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. That's really, That's really cool. cool. Uh, these are simple to make and quick to print and shows off how 3D printer works and a good way of testing out materials. Can regards, Stephen, uh, from, yeah, I'll put that Etsy thing at the bottom, but it's K-scale uh, K models. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, thank you very much, Stephen, oh my goodness. Yeah, th thank That's you very, a... very much. Ooh. This one's got is is like it's got thread running through it, so you can't just tear it open. Oh, okay. Get the knife. I shall get the knife. Oh, okay. I can see what's what's in here, but let's let's get the uh, thing first. From Colonel Spons. He they. Hello. Sp Hi there, you illiterate fuck. <laughs> 
Hi, Spawns. Hi. Uh, <laughs> wow, wait, that's, that's got to be the strongest opening yeah. we've had. Wait, that's no way to start a letter. I'm ta taking a do-over. Salutation, Snipe and Wib, whose reading comprehension is totally fine. <laughs> you little shit. I like you. I would yeah. argue, but there is a lot of uh, evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, in here is a bunch of... Uh, Fruit gummies. Of original... Um, Epic Land Raiders. I mean... Tell you what, if, oh, oh okay. my goodness, Okay, yeah. there's more than that in here, okay. Oh my goodness, shall okay. I read the letter as Yes, well? yes. Okay. These Land Raiders are far away, and some random old hammer junk from bits bo my bits box thrown in for good measure. Uh, they are veterans of the, uh, ho the original Horus Heresy, not this revisionist 30k nonsense I hear the young <laughs> people are into now. They also fought on both sides since the only models we had were Space Marine, so everything was Space Marine on Space Marine action. The game was called Space Marine. Clues right there in the name. Yeah. Why? Okay, like, mate, why are you funnier than us? <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I know there were people these days that will tell you that story is a, uh, apocryphal, and it was actually, Jane, actually James Workshop's master plan all along to have a civil war. That coincidentally, had identical models on each side of the table, but they weren't there, man. They, were, they weren't there! Back then, plastic models were the exception, not the rule. GW were really the only people with plastics, and even so, most of their range was metal. That was true, like, uh, you know, um, I, if I remember rightly, I've read some articles from, from, like, at the time, and they were talking about them, how a lot of people saw plastic models as being toys mm. like so that's why a lot of model companies aside from the expense of it just stuck to metal yeah because it just had a bad kind of reputation mm. it's easy to overlook that in 1989 gw still wasn't the behemoth it was soon to become i had to, I had to ask my parents to drive a, tw a 12 year old me 30 miles to the nearest gw shop to buy a big adeptus titanicus box with my christmas money that is adorable mm. granted there were two titan heads see enclosed examples but other than paint that was all we had to work with with first with the first Space Marines I used. With Adeptus Titanicus were the counters printed in White Dwarf 110. And I was grateful for even that. Tell the kids these days they won't believe you. Don't even know they're born. Have you heard the noise they call <laughs> policemen are getting younger? Spawns, cut it out. We're gonna be out of a job, yeah? <laughs> Keep up the good and much needed work. Uh, of not taking it any this more seriously than it deserves. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, there, Spawns. Um, so yeah, um, so thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Spawns, because we've got a a a bunch of um, very edible models of little land raiders, which um, some of which definitely won't end up as things in my Rebel Grotz army, because I've totally not done that before. I think um, if you did do that, people would be shocked and appalled. Shocked and appalled, because uh... uh, a couple of them have had the guns on the side broken by uh, transport, I'm afraid. So, oh, uh, that's a tr oh, look, tr transport. So those will definitely get used uh, used for that. So even with breakages, it won't be a problem. But we've now, also got... this looks familiar. That is a space fleet. Um, oh, I forget the actual class of ship they have. Um, now this is... Oh, so this is going to be the game of can I name what all of these things are. Okay, so we've got okay. a um, second ed uh, slash late first ed um, space rocket. marine rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Um, we've got. I think that's part of a predator's sponson, like the rogue trader predator's sponson. You're such a nerd. Um, in speaking of which, I think those are the rogue trader predator's las cannon sponsons. All of this may be wrong. Um, that's an old uh, plastic scout, which I think weren't they like. Advanced Space Crusade, like a heavy bolter. Editing Wib, I want you to know that you don't need to turn around to me sitting on the couch and go, I was right, <laughs> because I know you are. <laughs> um, Rogue Trader um, Space Marine Rocket Launcher. With the, the plastic top, one. top loader. Uh, bird on a stick. Uh, that's a bird on a stick, bird so presumably stick. it's like an old uh, chaplain's arm. I don't actually recognize mm. that one. Uh, these are the old uh, mentioned in them, the Titanicus heads. Oh, uh, there's the other sponson. Uh, so there's two Titanicus heads. Um, and A high five arm. A hand, which I think is part is a Titanicus um, Reaver Titan's hand. And this little set of spikes that I'm like 90% certain. I'm go on the top of like a Chaos Terminator. I think they're from um, a Rogue Trader era battle wagon. Okay. Uh, let me know how I did there, uh, because this was just a bunch of bits. <laughs> I'm waiting for a, like a score count at the bottom from Editor Web. 
Oh, you thanks. Thanks for giving me more work later. <laughs> You're welcome. But no. Um, thank you yeah. very much, Spons. Yeah, thank you very much, Spons. That's that's really cool. That's, really cool. Uh, that's just a little, a, a, a tiny little bag of uh, of bits that will end up in in various projects. So thank you very much. Yeah. And then, thank you for the uh, the funny letter. <laughs> you shit. <laughs> okay, next one. So this one, we've been pondering on, ain't we? Hmm. Because this is from a company. Uh, this is and not... it's not a cease and desist. Yeah, <laughs> or it's a cease and desist. Yeah, I don't know if this is uh, if this has been someone has bought us something uh, from an online shop or if it's I don't know stolen. Stolen. We don't know. <gasps> air. air, free air. Hell yeah! Please recycle me. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, from uh, Artist Opus, oh, wow. uh, which is uh, I think they make brushes. No, they make pens. Well, they've, they've given. Thank you for the biro. I a hope pen it's, it better be black ink. A Otherwise, pen and a we're gonna review. But yeah, it's black ink. You're uh, lucky. Artist Opus custom order. Custom order. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So this is like a. This is a. A, a custom like, um, what's the word? Engraved. Yeah, a, a, a wooden box that's got uh, Snipe and Wibber at night. So this is some of their fancy brushes. Oh my god, um, I don't think how much somebody spent on it. This is the, this is one of their really nice sets of uh, sets of brushes that comes in a nice nice set, and it's got some some goo with it. Um, oh, is this like uh, like bristle wax? I, I assume so. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. Um, thank you. Who? Th thank you. Wherever this came from, thank you. That's really. I'm gonna really be nice. too scared to use these beauties. <laughs> they are lovely. I have heard they are really nice. Mm. That is a mighty fine brush. Quite, quite literally. I mean that in multiple ways. We've got, we've got paint pots. <laughs> paint brushes. We got, we got. We got things to paint. Yeah, we got. We got paint brushes. We got, we got paint brushes. We got things to store the paint. Uh, the paint. We got paint last time. We did. So, yeah. I think thank I, you. They're all negging you to paint your models. <laughs> I refuse to submit! Is the last one for, for today? From Busbar. From Busbar, yes. Can I open this one? Of course it's already a little one. bit open. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! oh. This should fit! This... <laughs> that is... Okay. Okay, this is beautifully wrapped with an Aegis hammer, like, wax imprint. Uh -huh. That is beautiful, and it is friggin' heavy. Yeah. Snipe and Web, Vault Tech Industry. It's got duck, duck footprints on it. Oh, oh my god, they've got all these really beautiful wax stamps. Okay, do you want to read the yeah, little, little yeah. thing first? Definitely. Okay, what did Vault Tech send us? Oh my god, look at this beautiful paper. <laughs> I know I'm like I'm like a mom on Christmas. Like, oh, the paper's so beautiful. It's okay. Do you want me to read it? No. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> hey there, you illiterate fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I am never going to emotionally recover from that call out. Hi both. First of all, sorry for being extra with the wrapping. Don't be. It, it's beautiful, honestly. I've been in self-isolation and had to do something to keep from going insane. Understandable. Uh, all this has been wrapped for a few weeks, so all will be safe. Plus, I uh, I missed it all with disinfectant prior to post wrapping. Oh, bless you. Oh, the three rectangles, okay, the GW related things that I think you guys slash channel will get more use out of them than I can. The smaller package is for the two of you. I make things and thought you two might find a use. Keep up the channel, it's gotten me back into the hobby after oh. a decade away. Buzzbar. Thank you very much, Buzzbar. Thank you. Well, and thank you for, well, honestly, it's so pretty. Yeah, we'll, we'll do we'll do the uh, the mixed one at the end then. Yeah. Okay. I'll Again, do. look at this beautiful okay. wax and stuff. Holy heck. These were missing on the list. Ah, yeah, because we, we have a list. Uh, if you're not familiar, we have a... Ooh, okay. I think that, that came off one of you guys. Um, we have a... Uh, we put up a list of the different books and things that we had so that uh, people wouldn't be sending us... Um, you duplicates. Know, du yeah. Duplicates, just they, because... People wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to send this one codex and we've already got it, so... Yeah, just because be, they'd be wasting their postage and, yeah, you know... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think it might be a book. It's two book. Oh, two books. Vampire Counts oh. and Dogs of War. Okay, so yeah, the uh, Warhammer oh, Army books for uh, Vampire Counts. I don't recognise this one, but also I'm not super up on my Warhammer fantasy. I love this art, y'all. Um, Dogs what of War. What is anatomy? I feel seen. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, like, 
Boss Bar, this is very generous, but uh, I'm critique. There's no dogs on this cover. I believe they may be talking. Oh, there is. Oh, I, you know, I ins as soon as I opened you it, you opened it to a picture. I of opened dog. it to a picture of uh, a goblin riding a wolf. So uh, there uh, you go. A In wolf, your face. A wolf isn't a dog. Uh, back when G GW graphic novels were new, don't worry. I also have collected the uh, collected version. Oh, okay. I, oh my goodness, it's a beautiful like Yggdrasil stamp. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, you're like, oh, sorry about the wrap. It's beautiful. Absolutely <laughs> breathtaking. Oh, Tales from the Ten-Tailed Cat. Oh. And a picture of my biological family. <laughs> um, There's two. Yeah, a couple of them. I had... Uh, that looks very... Yeah. This one looks very Discworld to me. I had not heard of this story. I'm not the most up on the, um, the comics and graphic novels and stuff they've put out. I had not heard about this. And these are like... Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. No, these are cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, I will uh, be having a read through, read through these. Got got a lot of comics uh, recently, and uh, I'm okay with that, because I always mean to read more comics, and then I go into a comic shop, and I go, mm, they're all really expensive, aren't they? And <laughs> I can't decide which one to get, and uh, and then I never do. Um, so have got a damn it on here. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. In the 21 to 19 years, I have not looked at these more than five times. You guys might glean more than I can from them. Uh... The signatures were made in front of me. Oh. Ooh, that... I'm intrigued. Ah! 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 Ooh! Oh, shit! Oh, jeez. So, yeah, but... Uh, these are all s signed. These are, um... Golden Demon programs from... What is it? 2001, 2002, and 2003. Dude, okay. that's so cool! Yeah, so it's just like the, uh... Like the little program from uh, from like the uh, the games day. Take a shot. Oh, it's yeah, weird. It's, 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 it's weird game seeing day. Gav <laughs> with short hair and no beard. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said Golden De Demon. I think it's because I, I my eyes games latched day. onto that. Yeah. But it's obviously Games Day. It's the Games Day books. I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh no, these are very this interesting. This is real cool. Holy hell. Because yeah, this is all before I ever went to. Oh, it's got uh, like a couple of like like stat lines. Okay. And here, like a uh, Croup Master Shaper. That's that's probably like a Games Day exclusive <laughs> model. Okay, cool. Oh, and it's yeah. got like a map of the arena. Mm, this yeah. is such a cool little like time capsule. It's oh all very God. interesting. Thank you. I'm just going to sit here and read okay. this. I'm done. Well, well if you're going to read that, then I shall open this last little thing. This is the sexy joint present. Oh. It's a bomb. Is that chain the mail? These... I think... Have you sent us chain mail? Or like necklaces? Yeah, it's like a, a, a chain mail necklace. <laughs> Dude! These take forever to make. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, in for a penny, in for a pound? Aye aye. Oh, yeah. that's nice awesome. and cold. And yes, they do fit. Um, they fit nicely, thank oh, you. That's really cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Buzz Bar. I've got two necklaces on. I am the 1%. <laughs> So yeah, uh, thank you very much to um, Grotskull, to Steven, to Spons, to Busbar, and to whoever was responsible for um, the, the, the artist artist's opus brushes. Yeah, um, whoever was responsible for that, uh, please, please let us know. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, um, for all that. It was all very generous. Yeah, and, um, we'll see you next mailbag. Really, air horns in yeah. twenty twenty two. I like to think I'm bringing them back.